Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I have come here with my newest tutorial for Seizures Plus exclusively. And this time my this tutorial is inspired uh, by one tutorial which was recently released on Seizures Plus. And uh, this is the tutorial made by Kevin Snyder using track code sound keys with cinema 4d and um, I hope you must have seen this uh, tutorial and I watched the preview of this tutorial and was very much impressed Kevin has used cinema 4d after effects and sound keys for this tutorial and uh, after watching the preview I thought why not to make a tutorial on how to achieve uh, same kind of result using only 3ds max and uh, you will find that I have uh, tried to achieve the same result in 3ds max only without using any other software and plugins and I do believe that 3ds max users will like it so let's move to 3ds max and uh, this is what I have made Uh, so this is the thing I have made and um, believe me this is a very easy thing if you do it in 3ds max so let us start and uh, first of all uh, let me reset the scene okay so this is the new scene and uh, first of all I go to spline mode and choose text and write here CG plus and since I don't have the exact font of Seagrids Plus so I would uh, use something close to the original one mm, I think it it looks quite similar okay whatever so now we will work on this first of all convert it into editable spline and now being in the spline mode select C and come here and uh, click on detach and rename it as C okay now just like this select G press control and click to select this inner circle too and again click on detach and rename it as G okay now select T again detach rename it as T okay select U detach rename it as U okay select T again detach and this time rename it as uh, T1 okay now select S detach rename it as S okay and at last select plus detach rename it as plus and okay now I have separated all the letters apart this is C alone this is G now select all the letters and apply an extrude modifier onto them and give the extrusion value something like um, 10 and here is a problem if I increase the extrusion amount all letters will act in same time but I want each letter should dance separately so for that first of all make it in again and uh, select all these and click on this tiny icon make unique and now you will find that all the letters are independently reacting on extrusion this is what I wanted and this is very necessary to do because each letter has to react separately now let's make the base of the text so I create a small box in the scene something like this and uh, first let's convert it into editable poly and by selecting the vertices let's adjust the box a bit
Okay. Now make a copy of the box and adjust it as something like this. Okay. Now the base is ready. Now pick C and go to graph editor, curve editor and uh, here we will find sound. So select this and double click on it. Click on choose sound and I have an audio uh, wave file. I choose this, open and OK. And now you can see the audio here on the timeline. I guess the audio file is a bit lengthy, so let's increase the timeline till um, 450 frames. Okay. Now, if you hit the play button, you can hear the sound. If you are not able to see the audio file here on the timeline, then just right click on the timeline, go to configure, and do check this short sound track option. Okay. Now, select C first. This is C here. Open it. Go to modified object. And here you will find extrude. Open it. And here you will find amount. Select it and then right click on it. Select assign controller. And here choose audio float. Select this and OK. Now small window appears. C has gone down completely because minimum is set to 0 and maximum is only 1. Here click on choose sound and select the same audio file build up 01.wave <coughs> and now if you play it you will find that the later C is vibrating but very low because minimum is 0 and maximum is only 1. So here I give the minimum value as 10 which is the original extrusion amount and maximum uh, maybe uh, 500. So if you play this you will find now C is going quite high and this is oversampling. Oversampling determines uh, the smoothness of the animation on the beat. If I increase the oversampling say uh, 500 then the animation of the later on the beat will be quite smooth and you can clearly notice the ups and downs of the later on the beat okay close it now just like this select G G is here modified object extrude select amount right click on it assign controller audio float and choose the same audio file and here minimum as 10 and this time maximum should be uh, 600 for variation and oversampling should be same as 500 close you can see G is going a bit high than uh, a bit higher than C okay this is T Open it, modified object, extrude, amount, right click on it, assign controller, audio float and choose the same audio file and minimum as 10 and this time maximum as uh, 400. Oversampling sampling uh, should be same as 500. Close. Select U, modified object, extrude, amount, right click assign controller audio float choose the same audio file minimum as 10 and maximum uh, this time as uh, 700 oversampling again 500 close select T again this is actually T1 modified object extrude amount right click assign controller audio float Again choose the same sound, minimum as 10 and, uh, and this time maximum uh, maybe 550 and oversampling is same as 500. Close. Now select S, modified object, 
extrude, amount, right click, assign controller, audio float, again choose the same audio file, minimum as 10, maximum may be 650, oversampling same as 500, close. Now click on plus, modified object, extrude, amount, right click, assign controller, audio float and choose the same audio file. Minimum as 10 once again and uh, maximum may be 600. Oversampling is same as 500, close. So now we are done. Let's hit the play button and you will find a very nice automatic animation of the letters on the audio tune. Now you can do so many things like uh, you can apply materials, lights, camera according to your wish. I will not cover it here because you know it already. And finally you can take the renders out till your desired frames. So guys I hope you must have enjoyed this tutorial. This is a very easy thing if you do it in 3ds Max. You really don't need any plugins or even After Effects to achieve the result like this. 3ds Max is one man army itself. Once again I would like to thank Kevin Snyder whom tutorials preview gave me spark and inspiration to make my own version in 3ds Max. So let's meet in some other tutorial guys. This is Chandan Kumar from India for c Plus exclusively. And see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.